California Realtors, this is what you need to know about probate. My name is Amanda Rocha. I am an estate planning and probate attorney in California. And today I'm going to give you a few facts that you can tell your clients about probate when they are concerned about it. And they should be. Before I get into that, I want to give you my contact information. You can find me on my website at www.amandarochalaw.com. You can comment down below if this platform allows you to do that or you can follow along on social media at Amanda Rocha Law and send me a message that way if that's what you prefer to do. So first of all, what is probate? Probate is the court process in which somebody needs to put their family members' estates through if they don't have an estate plan. So if you pass away without a trust, basically, or with enough property to trigger probate, um, then a court process is going to have to ensue and a judge is going to have to review either the will that that person had or if they didn't have a will, review their property and the probate attorney is going to basically help you through figuring out who gets what after you've passed away, including your real property. Uh, something you need to know is what is the probate threshold? Currently in 2022, if you own 184000 $500 worth of property, that includes real property, um, and mortgage and equity are not um, necessarily calculated. It's the value assessed at death. So if you have more than $184,500 worth of property to your name, that will be passed through probate if it's not jointly owned, it's not a beneficiary account of some kind, or if it's not um, community property. So how do you avoid probate? <laughs> if you have real property, one thing you're going to need to do is have a trust. The trust actually avoids probate because the trust takes title to whatever is transferred to the trust and it's no longer counted as your estate when you pass away, even though you can still have ownership rights to it. Um, and this is kind of tricky when it comes to joint ownership because it's not one trust per property. It's each individual person needs to have their own trust unless they're a married couple in which you can have a joint trust. Non-married people cannot have a joint trust. But let's say you've got someone who owns 50% um, interest in one house and a friend or family member who's not a spouse owns the other 50%, they each would need to have a trust for their 50%. But let's say that only one of them had a trust, their interest would be passed along through the trust and avoid probate. The other person who owns the other 50%, theirs would have to go through probate in order to pass along to whoever they want it to be passed to if they have a will. Um, if they don't have a will, it's gonna be passed to whoever it goes to through the California legislature. Which brings me to another point. What does probate cost? Probate is expensive. But probate costs for an attorney are not set by the attorney. It's set by the legislature itself, and there's a calculation that needs to be done. So you can Google um, California probate calculator and enter in the total value of the estate. That includes real properties assessed value when they pass away, any kind of personal property they own, including vehicles, bank accounts, anything that is not basically life insurance with a beneficiary, um, or in, or retirement with a beneficiary or any kind of beneficiary accounts, anything that is not joint, jointly owned outside of real property as well. So you, if it, let's say it's $500,000, the probate costs are different than probate fees, right? So fees go to the attorney, fees go to the personal representative who is um, assigned during probate, that representative or administrator will also get an amount for a $500,000 property, that is um, about $28,000. And then the cost itself of filing documents with the court and paying the assessor, other things that you have to do is another couple thousand dollars. So you're looking at about $30,000 for a $500,000 estate. Most houses in California are going to trigger probate and your clients want to avoid that. So you should probably talk to them about um, why probate is a big deal. It costs a lot of money. It takes a long time. It used to be that you could maybe do a simple probate in nine months to a year and a half, but in this COVID-19 post-COVID world, 
we're looking at about two years or more in a complicated case. I mean, they can last five plus years. And when you have something complicated, you can add more fees onto that as an attorney. So um, last thing you need to know about probate to let your clients know when you are helping them buy a house is that modular homes and mobile homes are treated a little bit differently than other real property or than real property because those aren't considered real property. So while a trust could still be useful, there are other things that they can do and that they should contact an estate planning attorney to help them with this. If you want to give them my contact information or if you want to contact me and ask questions, I would be so appreciative. You can find me on my website, www.amandarochalaw.com. Comment down below if you have any questions or follow along on social media and slide into my DMs. I'm at Amanda Rocha Law. Thank you.